Yeah, it's been uh, pretty tricky, the downwind. Uh, in general, there's been a big extension. You know, as you can see, we sort of gained quite a lot on Brunel and Axo and Vestas. Managed to stay pretty close to these guys, although they around in front of us. Um, for a little bit there, it was a bit scary. They got out to like five or six miles in front. Um, but as we've sort of come in towards Denmark now, we've compressed a little bit again, and, or quite a bit. And we're at like 1.4 miles behind them, straight behind them, and we're on uh, Joe reaching at the moment. So sort of one of our fastest set up to like 110 true wind, wind angle heading for the corner of Denmark with a big uh, wind farm just to lord of us. So um, yeah, all's good, but hopefully we can catch these guys some more and then uh, at some stage before the Hague, doesn't have to be at any, any time passing. So uh, for now it's all good. Everyone's running on pretty limited sleep. I'm just going to go down and try and catch 20 minutes sleep now. I mean, it's good to have them 20 miles behind. It would be better if they were 40. Um, you know, they'll, they'll keep pushing hard, we know that, and, uh, you know, if they get any opportunity, they'll, they'll catch up, so but it doesn't really change too much for us, um, just means we have to, we still want to, right now we're not going to win the race, so we have to keep going and, and pass these guys in front, so that's all we're aiming for. Thank mm -hmm. you.